Hello, my name is Jeff Williams, and uh, today I'm working on the uh, muscle bipe. Uh, this is the uh, split cow that fits like this um, on the airplane. And uh, this is an insert that is given to you that you can actually put um, in the uh, front of the lower portion of the cow to uh, kind of give it that radial engine look, if you so desire. And when you get it in there, it'll kind of look like that. Uh, but how do we get it there? Uh, well, it's not too awfully hard. Um, the motor shaft will stick through there, so we're going to need to put a hole here. So what I do is I usually try to start with something uh, a little bit smaller than what I'm going to need or what I think I'm going to need. So I just found this old uh, pill bottle here. It's got a nice round or, you know, you could use maybe use a quarter or something, uh, but something nice and round. And then I kind of get it, I just eyeball it where it's centered in there. Next, I'm going to take a uh, marker, and what I'm going to do is, although it's black, if you just hold down on it, you can put a little line around it all the way. And you can actually see that, um, maybe not in the camera here, but you can see it. Uh, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, just get a hole in it. You could do this with a Dremel tool. Uh, that would be it fine. Uh, just don't get too aggressive of a bit because this is this is thin stuff here and we certainly don't want to uh, break the piece. But I go inside and I just start making a mark until I get down through it. Just a straight mark. It goes down pretty easy and then once I'm in it um, I just kind of cut on around. You can see on the front of this, I got a little circle there. Um, that's not my black line. Uh, the way I'm going to get that is with these uh, Lexan scissors. And the Lexan scissors, I got these from uh, MPI. And I'll bring it in just a little bit more. Uh, they're used to cut there. They got a little curved in in them. Uh, so they make it real easy and they're pretty sharp, nice and easy. They don't make a big cut at one time. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to bring this in here and I'm going to cut this circle. Okay, now you can see I got a pretty nice little circle there, uh, a little bit rough there on the inner sides. Uh, let's see if I can get that down through there. Nope, I'm going to open that up just a tad more. All right, so now, as you see, I got a little bit bigger hole. I can actually fit my, my thing, uh, my pill bottle through it. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take some uh, 150 grit sandpaper here. Actually, this is 220. 150 would be even better. And I'm going to put that in there like this. And I'm going to begin to work that around. Okay. Pretty happy with that. Uh, just uh, took it in there with this pill bottle with some sandpaper, just, just holding it on here. I just did like this and it made it a pretty cylindrical hole in there. I uh, might dress it up a little bit more, but you get the idea. Now the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to stick it on the front of the airplane to make sure that it clears everything like I want it to, okay? Um, so that's pretty self-explanatory there. Now, um, how do we get it into this is the next thing. So. Uh, I've kind of done some trial fitting here, and what you'll need to do is just do some trial fitting here. But uh, let me bring up uh, this again here. There's, uh, excuse me, wrong way on the camera there. Let's bring it in here. There's two notches I want to show you on this thing. So if I get the camera in here, you'll be able to see them. All right, there we go. Um, there's one notch, and there's the other notch. Those notches will fit along the... Uh, this entry in here, okay, on each side, okay? So let me show you how that works. 
bring the camera out just a tad here. And okay, so now you can see those notches, okay. are in these little pieces right here, okay? So, uh, what I'm gonna do from here, bring the camera back out, is I'm gonna take, uh, this is the part that's gonna fit into the cow, okay? That's very slick, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take some sandpaper and I'm gonna scuff that up, okay? Now the inside of the cowling is fairly scuffed up, so I'm going to scuff this up with some sandpaper down. Make sure you don't get out here. And um, that way I can glue it in. So I think you'd have the picture probably by now uh, how this is going to work. Once you get your inner hole here to the desired uh, for the prop to fit through, then it's just a matter of sizing it up. If you need to trim any of this off, you can trim a little bit off. That's fine. It won't hurt anything, but I'd try to leave as much as you can for gluing surface. Then. Uh, just pop it down in there, okay, and um, leave it, put some glue down in this trough of the cowling here and on here, okay, that's what I would do. Put that down in there, and then uh, if you want, I don't know if this will work or not, but you could put this down on here uh, for a little bit of weight, and maybe put just a small weight up here, and that'll keep it pressed down in there. Um, if you don't, uh, I would put uh, something else in here, maybe stand up some lipo packs in here to keep that pressed down, uh, two or three lipo packs to keep that pressed down. Uh, always make sure you got the proper fit. You wanna make sure you look on this side and make sure you're getting that where you want that, okay? And then uh, um, let it, put your glue in there, let it glue overnight. Now what glue would you use uh, there's a lot of them you could use, a uh, welder's adhesive. Um, you could use probably even some 30-minute uh, epoxy would work. Uh, I'm probably going to use uh, foam tack. Um, that works pretty good for me. There are some other glues that would uh, also work. Uh, I don't know that I would use CA unless it's a thick rubberized CA. Uh, that would probably work, but that would be uh, I'd push that one down the list of ways. Um, uh, so I would probably stick with the 30-minute uh, epoxy, foam tack, welder's adhesive, or something similar to that. Uh, there's some craft glues I know some guys use that are similar to the foam tack that probably would work too. Uh, I can't say for sure, but I know that like the foam tack, welder's adhesive, welder's adhesive uh, work pretty well. So uh, that'll sum up uh, my uh, cowling fit and how I got to that point uh, finished on it and uh, once again I want to thank you for uh, purchasing your extreme flight product hope to see you at the field